GOH, chapter 111. Let's get it. There is no trace for Take Jigal. Mori Jin, I mean, Ji Chun Deng Xiong, has won. He won? After all, Mandiok succeeded in destroying the key. Oh, shit. This fight is our loss. Damn. Damn. So we actually caught the L on this. Even despite Mori winning, like, the people who run the GOH caught the L on this, John, which is crazy. Let's see. Do your best. Bow, bow, bow. Nice little title card here. Clean. GOH. Underground sacred place. Coax. Rattle. See the a little rubble rattling. Boo. Bruce Lee girl pops out. Is it over now? Gosh. What was it? Are we fighting against monsters? Uh. What's this place? And she like walked into some kind of door. Huh? What the fuck? She walks into some kind of door and sees some person sitting on some kind of throne or chair, bro. Like what? And we just cut away to Mori, bro. On the floor. Whew. Boom, it's a deck. Flop. I feel like I'm dying. Huh? What are you doing? How? How do you? Huh? It feels a bit awkward. How, sh how should we call you? What? No matter how I was called before, I'm Mori Jin now. And who knows? My memories might not be real. What are you looking at? No tails? <laughs> Mira, mad funny. No tails. How how is your head? It's okay, as long as I don't use my power. And we see he looks back at the at the, the obviously the power pole. He boop. That shit goes down to back to his staff, and he goes, "Gee, now it's contracting." Eh? And we see like these kind of like. Like light, like kind of like I don't know what to even call them. Like I'm not like maybe it's like kind of bug. They're like flying down from the sky. From the sky, LPO catches one in his hand. Huh? Maybe they're like flowers. It turned into one piece. It turned into one piece. LPO, and we see old girl comes to grab LPO, gives him a huge hug. You idiot! We've been so worried about you. Ah. Uh, and we see, are you all right? And we see the girl who who was pissing him before. Now, after he risked their life, his life, she finally came around. Are you all right? Yeah. And you see, ta -da, ta -da, and we see these hooded dudes all pop out, bro. These hooded dudes, all them pop out. Huh? It will probably look, looks up. Maury looks up, and they all up top on the on the fucking cliff above them, bro, looking down. These hooded assholes, bruh. I apologize for the delay. It took time to go through the shield that Jason created. Ugh. Now, it's the chance. Kill Jion Chung Dae Huh? And then we see, as he points, we see a sick panel of this boy Mori. Boom. Staff in the ground, stand on business, holding it like, boy, dare if you can. Darn. Whenever I try to use my power, my headband tightens. Damn. So as they're, they all flinching when they see Mori standing up, up against them, boy. People in the crowd, all these hoods, they flinch, boy. They, they, ain't with the, they ain't with the smoke. They ain't with it. Kill him. And you see, some of them dip off right towards Mori. And we see, as this happens, Mori standing ready. Someone says, everyone stop. Bink. Oh, shit. What the fuck? So this is the person who was sitting on the throne. Because as they stop, 
we have old girl. He they had she has old girl Bruce Lee by the shoulder. You know what I'm saying? This little thing interrupted my sleep, and you are making such a big noise as she eats some. Well, I knew it would happen though. Well, I'm sorry. Ugh, she smells like garlic. Little monkey, was it you? It seems you only remember a bit. That's so funny. So who is this, bro? Because this person knows Mori. Little monkey, was it you? It seems you only remember a bit. Long time no see. As well. Long time no see to you as well. You look better. Huh? You cheap woman. How dare you talk to me? So these, so Omega knows her too, bro. Look at that thing. Watch your mouth. Don't dare talk to me with your smelly mouth. Damn, Omega Wallen. Remember, it is beyond our power to punish her. Mm, so he remembers. We su you succeeded in destroying the key. So we want to so we want you to come back now. God bless you. And you they all just instant transmission up out of there, boy. Because they're obviously like we said earlier, their mission was to destroy the key, and they did. So it's fucked. Oi, who are you? He says, Bink! Slaps Moe upside the head. Quick. Behave, you little monkey. I'm much older than you. You are as rude as your grandpa. You know my grandpa? What the hell I tell you? Be polite, she bing, bing, bing. Slaps Mori up one time. I know he's tired, but how can she hit him so easily? How should I know? Bow, 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 bow. And she's just beating him up. And <laughs> Mori, two black eyes. He look fucked up, boy. I want to beat you to a pulp, but I'll stop here. What's so funny? And we see little girl just laughing. It's strange. She's not fast, but I can't dodge. <laughs> Gee, it's a total disaster. Mubong, that little bastard. I told him to be careful. Now, tell me. Huh? Mori looks on. It seems that there won't be any more comp there won't be more competitions. And even if there is, you will win anyway. So tell me your wish. Then you oh shit. So tell me your wish. Then you are yes. I am Un Ginyo Kim, member of the six. I'll grant your wish. Yo. I did not expect that. That's crazy, bro. I'll grant your wish. Then now, bring my grandpa. And as he says that, he thinks and looks back at, obviously, Il Pio and the other two. He goes. He looks at Dewi and, Dewi and Mira, too. Says, Didn't you hear? You're the winner. Tell her what you want. Hey, we see the homie supporting the wish too. W. He looks on. Oh no. My Gram, no, please bring back my Gram. No. Everything that Gram, no, take Jigal destroyed. And we see Mori doesn't know what to pick, bro. He's fucking sobbing. No way. Are you ripping me off? You can only ask for one thing. I told you not to do it. Me. I knew it. You can't do it, can you? She, boom, slaps Mori again. You little monkey. Normally, I could do it. I could do that. But right now, I'm just a little short on my power since I woke up too early, and it's your fault. It's her fault as well. Let's see, Mori. <laughs> well, okay. If you really want that, I will do it just for once. But only living, but only living thing, I won't be able to restore non-living things. Got it? Got it. Okay, then. Hey, okay. So, she's gonna bring back everything she got destroyed. Okay, then. The gods of wind. He rain and the clouds. I command you. 
and we see the six Kim lifts it into the air, shining bright with this light. Huh? And we see three shines. Everyone on Ilpio's crew who was brutally injured, their injuries are fully healed. Foot is back. Gosh. <laughs> Again? This happens when I lack sleep. And we see, oh, girl, is the little baby. <laughs> she got the gear third treatment from, from One Piece. When she used her power, she became tiny. <laughs> hey. Ah. See, oh, girl. Wiggles her foot. You see, old girl is walking. She punches El Pio in the chest. What are you doing? Go congratulate her. And we see, he grabs her first. Gives her a big hug. It's great. I'm so happy for you and her. Yes. I'm dead. And immediately, bro, this girl, boom. She goes and kicks some rocks, bro. It will take some time to regain my old form. She really made she really made his wish come true. And we see. Damn, Day thinks thinks by his homeboy who passed. Looks up in the sky. Fuck. Are you happy there? <laughs> she became small. She's small, tiny. <laughs> hmm. So you got small, huh? Yeah, I'm a baby now. So what? And we see pink, 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 pink. We see her. She's still beating up old girl. Don't matter. Ugh. Uh. Let me see. Damn. And we see one of the dudes in the six, the mage guy. The two um, nurses are still trying to help the boy out, but it has not worked. He shakes his head. It's just sad. He's passed away. Why? Didn't I tell you? I can only bring back, bring living things back. He was already dead. It was too late to bring back, mm, to bring back, got you. But from his face, I can tell he was happy when he passed away. Then my grandpa might not. Only if I sleep enough, I can make them alive again. Remember, this is not usual. Well, I'll show you some mercy. Your grandpa, he's alive. W, vaguely. I can feel his energy. And we see Mori goes, that's great. And we see, poof. The headband that Mori had that gave him his, like, Mummy King powers, poof, disintegrate, oh, like, dis dissipates, I just to say. Poof. See the score? You see the scar on his forehead? I wonder, I assume that's the scar he got, I guess, in his past fucking life. And that's why they thought he was dead. But, like, I'm assuming. I don't fully know, you know? See, Maury ah, wobbles his back. Maury, don't worry. He's sleeping. He man snoozing up. You must be the keeper of the key. I am. For now, from now, from now, you must find the pieces of your key. The boy with the blue hair, take Jagal. Made the pieces shatter, but they will become one again as you find them. Oh, then that was ah okay. And when we saw those little like light those like light flower fragments falling to Ilpio's hand, that was part of the key. Like returning back to him, which is very interesting. May I ask you a question? Yes, ask me. What is the key? The key is someone who can violate a taboo against human beings. A taboo. Gods were afraid of human of human abilities and put a taboo on us. The key is the one who can break the, that taboo. Human beings can't attack gods directly unless they violate that taboo. In short, without keys, human beings can't attack gods. Then can Monkey King break the taboo? I'm not sure whether he can break it or not. That's why he needs to find his old memories. Okay. Do you know how to find it? Probably. It will be in the gourd-shaped bottle, which is attached to his clothes. Ah, gotcha. And we see a silhouette of old school Mori with his old school clothes, and we see the gourd on his hip. 
He must find his clothes first. Where are they? The place... Dong Seng Su Ju. It's where he was born. You will find them there. Probably. <laughs> the citizens of Seoul who were teleported came back to Seoul and started to rebuild the city. Thank you and come again, please. Let me see. Still under... Le Porte. Still under construction, but now we are open. Sweet. Ugh, again... Mr. Chef, he left his food again. Darn. I cooked it with great care with the best ingredients. What's wrong with my dish? Let me see. Why aren't you... Why aren't they as good as his? Damn. So funny. That Q keeps going back to these restaurants. And he takes one bite and leaves the food there. Because it's not as good as Day Wee's, bro. That's so funny. Oh. Oh, cute. So, O is working on her borrowed power. We see, sing, ah, Cheng Sik, Red Dragon, Cheng Sik Choi, reborn by Hatchling. We see, oh, cute. It's a baby now. Here, to be honest, I envy you. I shouldn't say this, but at least you sacrifice yourself to save the world. And we see the Divine Doctor is at the Mage's grave site, which is very interesting. He pours a shot for him. He pours one out for the boy. You didn't need to teleport me, though. Help yourself, sir. Hang on. Thank you for doing this. Nothing will be enough to pay Mr. Jion's kindness. She is such a nice girl. I heard that she even paid for her, her, for your funerals. Look who's here. I think you got old. <laughs> and we see the fucking homeless dude part of this as well. If you were younger, you wouldn't have cared at all. I heard that you decided to teach Mor Mori Jin. Really? Well, you saw what happened. Someone needs to protect this world. So I'll teach him Begar's song a bit when he wakes up. Begar... Beggar's song? Huh. What? You think you're stealing my disciple? Disciple my ass. I thought he was a genuine fighter. And now what? Jiang Jung Song Day? What's so important of being a genuine fighter? Whether you are a genuine fighter or a power borrower, being strong comes first, isn't it? Shut up, you rascal. I wish you were more proud of being a genuine fighter. You and Mu Bang are so childish nitpicking at it at the same time. Did you hear that? Un Gyo has woken up. Pah, so what? Did you get over her? You cried out loud when she refused you. I love you. You f you little XXX. You think I love you? I'm dead. <laughs> My goodness. You see, this nigga loved her. You bastard. Why'd you bring that up now? What? There's only two of us here. This is the chance for us. I'm dead. This is crazy. <laughs> I'm maximizing my supporters during the restoration of Seoul. R. You have an important role. I will become president myself. Mmm. See, drip. Oh, shit. And we cut away. And we see Maury's granddad. One arm gone. One arm and his two legs chained up as he's, like, strung up here. Maury. He says. Maury Jin, Maury Jin sleeps for three months. Holy shit. After three months... As all of you know, Korea has overcome lots of hardships. Three months ago, four cities, including Seoul, were destroyed in an ugly incident. However, people cooperated as one for the sake of our country and achieved another miracle. Please give him a big hand. Here is the hero who made that miracle possible. It's going to be Mu Bong. On behalf of the whole country, I'd say thank you. You're welcome. I'm so... No way! It's not Mulong. It's the fucking... Oh my... It's the Omega guy! You're welcome. I'm so honored. And the world starts to twist. Bro, what? And we see R is there too, bro. But why? Why? 
Yo. God of High School Chapter 2 and the National Championship Competition. Starting next week, there will be a spin-off episodes about Tejin Jin's past for the few for a few weeks. Damn, we going into the grandpa's flashback, bro. Nah, that's crazy. Bro, what the fuck? Yo, wow, what's good, gang? What's cracking with you, bro? Nah, this is crazy, boy. Nah, I'm very hyped to see where this shit goes, bro. Because the twist just now was crazy. With, like, they, they're saying that th with the help of this guy, he's a hero who made shit possible. And it's the Omega guy. So maybe he was the one who was, like, funding the rebuilding and stuff like that? I don't know. But he, we know he's the one who, like, who was part of the fuckery. And more we said for three months, this man, Gramps, has been fucked up. He said, oh, you have an important role. And we see R next to this guy. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy, bro. Boy, I'm hyped to see where this shit goes. But we're going to be in a little side story for the next couple weeks of GO8, so I'm excited for that. So, yeah, if you made it to the end of the live reaction, I appreciate y'all so much. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like in the video and really help the boy out. Also, drop a sub. We're on the road to 1K, and I'm bringing different live reactions weekly. So, I'm going to see y'all next time. Stay safe out in these streets, and I'm going to see y'all soon. Peace.